Right, this is what we're going to be making today. Bun cha or Vietnamese meatballs. Come on, let's get cooking. Well, welcome to my kitchen on what is a bit of a dreary Sunday here today. But I will hopefully brighten up today with this bun cha. And we're going to start by making our meatballs. So that was a bit bad. <laughs> In with our pork mince. In with two spring onions chopped, two teaspoons of caster sugar, two teaspoons of minced garlic, and one tablespoon of fish sauce. Any time now. <laughs> and about 10 flakes of red chilies. So, there we are. I'm going to wash my hands, get them in there, and combine these and make up some small meatballs. Right, let's get in here. Well, <laughs> I've just realised just about everything in here is an aromatic. Right. I'm going to shape these and drop them into the frying pan straight away. So. Uh, I think that'll be the best way to do that. But before, I'm just going to cover that with a cloth. Right, just, while that's going on, we're going to make our sauce. Nuok Cham, I think it's pronounced. If I'm wrong, I'm not sure <laughs> there'll be many Vietnamese people watching actually <laughs> but if they are they can spell it phonetically for me if I've got it wrong but I have looked up Nok Cham was the best I could get right now it's time to make um, oh, I've already done that haven't I <laughs> right let's start with two tablespoons of raw sugar two tablespoons of fish sauce <laughs> I half expected it to be dark outside by the time I'd finish that rice wine vinegar two tablespoons two tablespoons of lime juice and a third of a cup of water and I've combined those. Yeah and into that we're going to pop one heaped teaspoon of minced garlic and one tablespoon of sweet chilli sauce. Here we go. I'm going to mix that all up and then I will keep that in the fridge until we're ready to serve. Right. So I'm going to form these meatballs and then put them in the flour and then to one side here. 
So, this is about the size you want. Then just pop them in there, roll them around a bit. This should give you a nice brown texture when you fry them. And when you do fry them, make sure you have that pan good and hot so that um, the meatball doesn't fall apart before it gets nice and crispy on the outside. Here we are, there's another one. I'll do all of these, then we'll come back. Right, there they are, all ready to go. I'm going to put a pan on and heat the oil up, and then we'll get frying. Right, now the best way to do this is to drop them in with a fork. With less emphasis on the word drop. <laughs> come back once I've got them all in. Right, I'm sorry that these are so loud, but um, there's something else I can do about that at the moment. What you can do is put your oven on about 80 degrees now, and take these out, put them on a plate, and leave them in the oven while you're preparing the vegetables and noodles for the base of the meal. Right, I've just turned them over. So, as soon as I get these in the oven, we can get going on putting together the vegetables and the noodles. Right, firstly let's pour boiling water over our noodles. And just leave them there just to soak. Right, now we can get on. I've chopped up our cherry tomatoes. I've got our mung bean sprouts here. I've got our carrots. I've got some slithers of capsicum as well. So we uh, apart from this uh, stick of spring onion and cilantro leaves um, we're ready to go. Actually, I forgot the spinach leaves. <laughs> right, I'll get the spinach leaves and get these stems off them. Right, let's get assembling. So there's our beautiful noodles. There. Aren't they wonderful? We'll pop some spinach leaves there. And some mung bean sprouts. And then in between them let's pop some tomatoes there. And let's get some of these beautiful meatballs they are going to be just stunning I think I have already tasted one <laughs> um, and it was well it was out of this world actually so um I don't fancy the carrots that I've got there now, so I'm just going to go with the capsicum and some spring onions and then we've got some of our sauce. So I'm just going to drizzle this over the vegetables and the meatball and then I'm going to have just a little sprinkle of 
on the meatballs with some sesame seeds. And there you have it, folks. Now for the train spotters, you will have noticed the absence of some coriander leaves. So, now you're happy. <laughs> right. Knife and fork. Let's Get into there, bean sprouts, some noodles, which aren't going to play ball. <laughs> mm. When I first made this recipe, they actually said, um, make sure you make plenty of sauce. We'd hate you to run out. And I thought, good almighty, there's a half a jug of it here. And when <laughs> When I did first make it, I kept pouring on the sauce, pouring on the sauce, and ran out. So, if you, uh, if there's one hint for this recipe, make plenty of sauce. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you make this at home, and I will catch you on my next recipe.